Okay, welcome back. We're basically right where we left off last time. There was, um, I came in here and saved, and I got the stuff from getting the day one edition, which, um, it, it, it's like this stuff, and I put one on, um, uh, I put one on this one, the gold bunny statue, and it boosts XP, and then I put this one on. And I gave her an arcane bracelet and the bushy broom, uh, cincture, which is, which reduces the MP cost. So she should be able to throw out more spells without running out because the biggest problem so far that I've seen recently is that cause she's, she's a, she's, she's a mage. Um, and she uses it to like, and I have, and she's a healer and stuff. So she, what she does is she buffs off, buffs the other characters. So that uses MP. So basically, she runs out really fast, and then she doesn't. And then she's not able to attack or anything, because basically all of her attacks use MP, based on my understanding. So um, I just came and got that. I saved, and we're just gonna head out. Another thing that happened off camera was as I was running, it uh, a little notification came up. Just just a notification, like that's basically, it, and it basically just explained that there are side quests. So that's it. What's this? I don't. What's this? Private actions. When you enter a town, the party may enter private action mode. If you have made sufficient progress in the story, this will occur when you come into contact with specific points denoted by whistle icons, which causes all the characters to scatter throughout the town. If you wish to see these side stories with your allies unfold, you will first have to find your party members. Next. Empty diamonds depicting the number of private actions you can view will display in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and will fill in every time you view one. This way the likelihood you will accidentally skip over a private action will be drastically reduced. Okay. Depending on the content of the private action or sometimes the choices you make as Fidel during it, you can improve your standing with your party members involved. So I assume you can also make it so they hate you. You can always exit private action mode in which the same manner as you entered it by walking into a gold circle like the one below. And down for okay. okay Let's reconvene, in front of the air. reconvene where? Whoa, what's going on? Okay then. Oh there's another one here. Okay, so that might be to end it. What? Okay, so do I talk to her then? Cause she's got a speech thingy on her head. I think I might start studying more about signature G. That's rather simple. What brought that up? I'm just wondering if there are any more. Oh, it's with her. What do you mean? Like a technique for deboning fish, or for drying your hair instantly, or for making your blanket more fluffy. Uh, okay. Those are very useless. So I did it. Okay, so I did it, so I exit it now? Is that how it works? I guess that's how it works. Okay, so that wasted like, what, a minute and a half? Okay, so the other thing that happened is that there are side quests. So I was gonna use this episode devoted to these side quests. First, we're gonna do this, because it gives you experience, and we need experience. Because I don't want to get any more game overs. What is it? The lady next door told me her secret to beautiful skin. The only problem is it involves periton droppings. What? Which I don't have. Oh my now. Now that I've seen the light, I shudder to think what I'd look like in a few months without this legendary face pack. What? Sure. You have accepted the quest. The goal of the collection club is to make the world a more beautiful place by, you guessed it, collecting things. First, let's judge your commitment to our wonderful cause by seeing if you can collect something simple like iron. Oh, I actually already collected iron. So, oh, it already did it? Yes. 
Oh. Cool. You do not possess the necessary iron Perryton droppings. You have unlocked a scavenger roll. Cool. What's that do? Rolls. Learn rolls. Scavenger. Impair own judgment. Well, that doesn't sound good. Fall. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Refrain from attacking and think only of money. That's that sounds a lot like me. <laughs> Hang back. Plus four. That doesn't seem good. I don't think I like that. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so I need to get Perry, Perry, Perryton droppings. Where's the exit? How do I put on the map? There's the map. That's so why I need to go to the R Rasulian Plains. Okay. So this way. We need to get. We need to get animal crap. Oh my God! Just thinking about that. Like, there's they use animal crap for a beauty product. That doesn't sound good at all. Okay, now first I have to try to remember what a peri of what a periton is. Is it these things? How do I lock on again? Yes, it's this thing. Surprise attack. It wasn't a surprise attack. I was there trying to figure out how to lock onto the damn thing. The only skill I know. Double slash. Perry turn droppings. Got common eggs. Damn it. I'm just basically gonna have to wait till these things respawn. <laughs> in order to get it. What are these things called again? A dryad. It's been a whole 24 hours before I last played this game. So, I don't even remember much about what's going on. My friend t texted me and told me that the audio in my videos was a little quiet. So I upped the audio by uh, about three three notches. And uh, hopefully it'll make it louder. I'm also sitting a little bit closer to the mic, so that should also make it a little bit louder. Did they respawn yet? No. You must have to get a ways away with them before they can respawn. Back here. Preemptive attack? Okay. It said preemptive attack, but I didn't get to attack because I was hit. Fireball. Burn. Finished. Mint and lemon. Ah, see, they respawn once you, like, leave the area. That's one of the bad things that I heard about this game, is that they, they spawn in the same place, which makes it predictable. So it's like not really good, and people can easily farm, which I suppose is okay. I mean, farming as, as a personal farmer, because I farm a lot, especially in Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Which, if I had to choose between the two, I'd say Bloodborne is my favorite game. Uh, uh Periton droppings? No. God damn it. Okay, well let's scavenge a bit then. Another thing I was saying, I was, I tried to upload a video today, and an error kept occurring, so it wouldn't upload. I tried twice, and both times, it failed. Miserably failed, my ass. Like, it got, it got so close, and then it just said error occurred, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. So that... Common eggs. I don't want common eggs, so that happened. I leveled up, though. That's good. Ooh, what are these things? They got shields. A lizard soldier. They got some nice looking swords. Oh, God. They do a fair amount of damage. Telltale sign counter. Okay then. Right, 
I still... I think she leveled up. Well, that's good. Okay, then. Ooh, a chest. Health seeds. Okay. At least it's telling me what they're used for. So that's good. I think in order to progress a store, you need to go over this way. The way I'm running right now. But I really want to do this side quest. What's up here? There's something over here. Ah, that's where we're supposed to go to progress the story. But I'm not going to do that because we're almost out of time this episode. And I'll save it for the beginning of the next episode. I'm going to continue running around here. It says... Oh my god, the minimap is so confusing sometimes. I mean, I get how it works, but it's just sometimes confusing. Right through. This place is huge. It's just fields of... Well, it's, a pl it's plains, so there's really nothing here. But, uh, it's pretty big. I mean, bigger areas, you think they put in, like, bigger enemies, but, uh, nah, not really. They just put in some lizard soldiers, and they call it a day. Oh, he countered me again. I don't pay a- <laughs> I just kind of button mash. I don't really much pay attention to, um, anything. One attack, 500 damage. Nice. I got iron. Oh, there's these things again. Maybe these ones will drop some shit finally. God damn it. Oh, I didn't mean to do a double slash. Okay, he's dead. God damn it. I think that attack is really cool when you just, like, throw him up in the air with your sword. And he's dead. Come on. Shit, 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 shit. Gimme shit, gimme shit. I got nothing. Fuck. What does a guy gotta do to pick up some bird shit around here? Jesus Christ. Can I go in the water? No. Water's... Water's a no-go, apparently. Ooh, there's a chest. Wait, is that a chest? Yeah, that's a chest. Oh, it's probably gonna be a locked chest. How do you get the keys of these things? Is it? Oh no, I can open. No, it's it's. Hello. What are you? These things look. These things look funny. A pygmy glaive. They're not that strong. They hit fast, though, and that's the problem. Because all that low damage adds up to big damage. And they can stunt your attacks. Just making it so they can keep hitting you over and over again! Die. Jesus Christ, I don't like these things. Finished. Healing. Tasty mushrooms. Oh god, was it them? Am I going to eat them? Well, I mean, that makes sense. Fortitude potion. Fortitude is related to... Health. Is either related to health or MP. Well, duh, that just like most of the things in this game are really related to that, duh. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to continue farming for the per Periton shit, and then uh, I'll just hand that in off, off, off camera, and then we'll see in the next one where we'll continue through the story.